Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over Wild Card Wednesday, guys. Of course, every Wednesday, we have a Wild Card drop. Now, the last few weeks have been pretty cool. We did get the power ups. That was exciting. But we did not expect, you know, a third week of power ups in the last month or so, right? That would have been kind of crazy. Although, I, I would like it personally, but we all know we weren't going to get another week of power ups, right? Now, getting into this, of course, getting into the wild card Wednesday, guys. Before we do, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, boys. Can you join the family? Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, guys, comment down below. Let me know what's been your favorite wild card Wednesday of the week, or what's your favorite chop? Is it why? Is it Rising Stars? Is it Vets? Is it you know? Is Power Ups? Let me know down below. I want to know what you guys have been thinking. But let's open up our Good Morning Madden pack. Still in, still in search of an LTD out of one of these, but there's not in packs right now, so wouldn't even really be possible. Oh, an elite, Damian Williams. Cool. They should really up the odds on these things. I don't know why they think it's cool to still give us all gold, pretty much all gold packs every week. And we're in almost in April. They should definitely give us like, you know, an all elite pack, right? Let's make it fun, right? Let's have some fun with that. Even if it's not, just start giving us all elites. Have fun with that pack. But anyways, guys, let's head on over to the store, of course. Now, today's Wild Card Wednesday drop is going to be veterans. So head on over to training. Get on down here, guys. You want to try your luck at a veteran player. It's 6,000 training. For a chance at a veteran player now the new veterans i believe are 94 95 overalls so decent value if you do pull the 95s of course but you can pull the 89 so you don't want to go all in on that of course you could try your luck i know some people sometimes hit on that stuff but again it's it's a tough proposition right i mean i you, you might be better off just buying it off the store because a lot of the times guys uh trading wise maybe you make a value but coin wise it typically seems like coin wise on a these veterans and all these wild card Wednesday stuff, you typically lose. You can always just buy them off for cheaper. Now, we are later in the year, so that might not be the case as much as it once was, but definitely still, uh, you know, possible. Okay, so we have a few of them up ready. Wow. Almost all of them up. So let's start with Robert Quinn, one of the newest ones. 95 overall right end for the Chicago Bears. Now, 87 speed, 90 excel. That's actually really good for an end, uh, you know, veteran end. 89 strength, 94 tackle, 95 play rec, 84 block, 97 power move. 91 finesse move on a Chicago Bears theme team or Rams theme team or a few different theme teams. He'll actually be pretty decent. Uh, he's going to have some good speed. He can be powered up. He can get 99 power move. So actually, on a certain theme or run stuff, guys, he could get up to 90 block shed as well as above, you know, 98 power move. On a theme team or any of that stuff, he'll actually be pretty good. I wouldn't personally get him for, like, my own team. He's not a meta player, but he has the speed. He'll have the block shed if you put run stuff on him, and he already has the power move, and he has the play rec, and, you know, he's a decent, decent weight. Decent height, you know, a little bit of everything you kind of want there. Now he's 95 impact blocking as well, 92 hit power. He's not a bad card. It all comes down to a matter of can you properly utilize him in a certain scheme, right? Because that, that's what some of these cards are. And Robert Quinn's not horrible, honestly. I've seen worse on a veteran, trust me, on a veteran wildcard Wednesday. I've definitely seen worse. Josh Norman, the guy who got his career was ruined by Odell, right? I'm a Giants fan. I'm a little biased. Uh, no power up, though. So off the rip, I don't like him. Uh, first off, Josh Norman is a 95 overall, 94 speed, 95 excel. With the power, people would have gotten to 97 speed. Would have liked them a little bit more. 96, uh, 95 excel, 94 agility, good. 95 jumping, good. 99 play rate, good. 86 man is horrible. 92 zone, 94 press. Why does a 95 overall corner, who at one point was touted as a shadow lockdown corner one on one guy, not have a man? I know he's not too great at it anymore, but again, I feel like veteran cards should, you know, still get the stats considering we are in almost April. But he will get 99 press. He will not get 99 zone. He will only get 90 uh, man. He will not get 99 play rec. He is not a good card at all. Again, maybe on a Bills theme team. Again, though, I'd still prefer to see him on a Panthers theme team. Uh, I mean, I'd probably put him on a Panthers theme team over that. But the thing with the the thing with this card is maybe on a theme team he'd be decent. But I still wish he had a power up that would have made him a lot better. Uh, you know, would have gotten him some 99 stats. Let's see the next cards. We read Quinn. Next, guys, we have. Let's see who we got. We got Latavius Murray, who did just drop. 92 speed off the bat, no power up. Card's dead. Dead. Like, dead in the water. No one's going to have this card. I don't even see a purpose for him on a theme team. Because if you go on a Raiders theme team, you got Bo Jackson. You go on a Saints theme team, you got a, quite a few running backs there. And uh, I forget where he may have been other besides that, but um, I think that's it. Uh, 92 speed, 94 excel, not good. 90 agility, not good. 94 carrying is good. 75 catching is decent. 84 change of direction is horrible, especially for an elusive back. 93 trucking, 94 break tackle is good. Uh, strength 76 is decent. Awareness 90, it's 87 jumping. 
Uh, let's see what else he has here. Stiff arm 92 is decent. 95 juking is actually really good, but no change of direction. 94 break tackle, like I said before, is still good. I do actually... I, I like the power and the juking on this car, but he, the, physic, the physical stats just aren't there at all. Um, yeah, that, no. Randall Cobb, 95 overall. Another card that just dropped for the Texans. Now, again, he's been in the few teams. Packers, Cowboys, Texans. Maybe more. Can't put my finger on it. 94 speed is decent. Uh, I wouldn't call it good because, of course, with the power-up would have been better. But he's missing that as well. 88 jumping is bad, especially when he's that tiny. 94 catching is good. Catch and trapping 92 is decent. Spec catch 92 is decent. Short route running 94 is decent. 93 medium route running is good. Decent medium route, deep route running 89 is actually bad in my opinion. So overall, guys, you're looking at a pretty decent slot receiver. I'd say I say below average slot receiver. Uh, 93 agility is good. Let's see, 95 awareness is good. 87 change of direction is horrible at this point in the year, of course, right? Um, 76 step arm doesn't really matter for him. 94 juking is good. 91 break tackle is good. The card overall, I would say, is below average at best. I mean, I don't even think he's you know. I don't even think he's usable at all, even on a theme team, unless you're making like some all-time Packer squad. Next, we got Tayshawn Gibson. Tayshawn Gibson, 95 overall for the Chicago Bears. 92 speed, 95 excel, 89 tackle. Now, so far, guys, speed's too low, excel's good, tackle's too low, no power-up. 93 play rec, 95 pursuit, 86 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, 84 hit power. So zone will get to 99, that's great. Man will get to 90, that's good. Hit power is only 85. That's below average at this point. Um, speed, below average. Tackle, below average. Strength, 77. That's whatever. 86 catching is actually great. 85 change of direction is below average. Uh, hit power is only 84. Like I said, press only 84. Guys, this card, again, is below average. This is just what Wild Card Wednesday with veterans is going to be. I usually call it the slow promo, but this week is just a below average promo. Uh, we start missing RG3, of course, who is going to be one of the final cards uh, right here. RG3, Robert Griffin III. Please save this. 93 speed. Good for a quarterback. 95 throw power. Great. That'll get to 99. Throw short. 94. Great. That'll get to 99. Throw medium. 90. That's not bad. Throw deep is 91. Throw under pressure. 93. Throw in the run. 95. 93 play action. Finally, a decent card, guys. He has all the thresholds. He does have great throw power. He can probably get gunslinger. And he's got good speed. And, of course, it's Rob Griffin. You can put him on a theme team on the Ravens, which I wouldn't recommend. You got Lamar. You can put him on a Redskins theme team or Washington football team. Sorry. So, overall, you have a, you have a, I'd say he's slightly above average. Or for a veteran drop, he's pretty good, right? Uh, I wish he had a power-up once again, though. But, of course, I understand why he doesn't have a power-up. I mean, he's a backup quarterback. I don't expect him to have a base lead anytime soon. 92 agility is good. 91 jumping doesn't really matter, but it's decent. 87 change of direction for him is, I'd say that's modest. 92 uh, juke is good. 81 carrying is decent. 87 break tackle is not bad. 90 break sacks, pretty good. He's a pretty good card. He's well-rounded. He'll probably be a decent budget quarterback, right? I mean, you'd have to imagine, but that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's veteran drop video, guys. I know I sure didn't like most of those cards. RG3 and Quinn were pretty good. But yeah, hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know which card, if you like any of those cards at all. Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. If you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below and use code pool at checkout for 5% off your order. I'm out. Peace.